Hey, what's up? Welcome to English with Venya, a place where we level up and never look back. And today I want to share with you a cool pronunciation trick that a lot of Americans, Americans as in American English, I just want to, you know, emphasize that, a lot of Americans actually use, not just people in California, where I am right now, I'm in Los Angeles, California, but all over the country. So let's um, talk about it. And this specific phenomenon, phenomenon, that's a funny word, uh, this specific phenomenon is called silent T. So this is the rule. Generally, when you have a combination of N, T, and the vowel, oftentimes the T is dropped. Not replaced, not modified, just dropped straight up like it was never there. And this is what we call silent T. A quick disclaimer though, every single type of T that we use in American English, I'm talking about the flap T like in water, uh, the glottal stop like button or stop T that typically comes at the end like uh, pat. All of those are, including the silent T, all of those are optional. They are not mandatory. If you say water, it is not wrong. Sure, it might be weird depending on the situation you're in, but it's not wrong. Regular T can still be used everywhere, not just the beginning of the word. All of those things are optional. Silent T is also optional. I'm just giving you some real examples of the way people actually speak. And using this technique alone can bring you a step closer to being on a native speaker level. So let's explore. How about internet? Internet. You see, I'm not saying internet. I could if I wanted to remember it's optional, but internet, very simple. We just skip it like it was never there. Now, how about 20? This one, I get a lot of questions about this one. 20, 20, like it was never there. How about a longer word? Identity, identity, right? Identity, I'm using a silent T of course, and uh, a little flap T at the end. We can do a video on it later. Identity, pretty cool, huh? How about center, 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 but also center. Now, how about this one? Two separate words. We have NT at the end of the first word, and the next word starts with a vowel. For example, count it, right? Count it, count it. I just said it, count it, count it. Here's the money, count it. See what I did there? Or this drink is so good, I want another one. Want another. I want another one. So you see, it's not only limited to when it happens within one word, it could also spill over to two word combos, depending on the sounds. And of course, where there's a rule, there's an exception. That's how English works, you should know it by now. So, sometimes we can't do that. We can't use the silent T. And that typically happens when that T is a part of a stressed syllable. For example, into into we cannot just skip that because t is an essential part of this word being that it's in a stressed syllable antique can't do that either so make sure you keep that in mind i have an assignment for you in the comments down below try to think of some other words that i haven't mentioned yet uh where we can use the silent t let's use this video to create a really sick list of those words down below thank you so much for watching and if you like what you saw make sure you subscribe because we're here to level up and never look back good luck